Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past and uh, I was trying to figure out how I was going to do this episode. There's a couple of things I'd like to show you before we uh, go to the next dungeon of course and uh, the next dungeon is not going to be fully completed but you'll see that. And also there's going to be a couple of jumps in this episode too. But anyways, if you go around uh, the, in the dark world and some of the caves you'll actually find things like this where you have like somebody that's been transformed and they'll basically tell you like a little hint for 20 rupees and some of them are pretty helpful and some of them aren't. So this guy, or bird, rather, is telling us about a, um, a ring of stones. Well, let's go check that out. <laughs> so basically, if you know where we are now, uh, you should be able to follow me. Anyways, I'm going to head left here, then kind of curl, uh, sorry, curl around, curve around, whatever word you want to use for it. And uh, we're going to investigate that ring of circles, but while we do that, I want you to take a look at the dark world a little bit. Uh, you'll notice a lot of things that are a little different. You know, the enemies are obviously a little stronger, but it's hard to tell, of course, since we've got the tempered sword. But certain places are blocked off. You see the bridge down there in the lower left. Um, you have to get to the other side of uh, the dark world a different way. So that's kind of interesting. They kind of, you know, section it off. They kind of make you... Um, get specific items in order to get to the next section. Which is pretty interesting, I think. Anyways, here's a little magic shop or item shop, but we don't really need anything there, but... You know, if you get all um, four bottles, you would probably have room for that, so... But I'm probably not gonna pay money for the red potion, you know? And I may not max out everything, but I will get at least get all of the items, so... But I tell you what, though, having the Tempered Sword this early it helps a lot. Because normally enemies like that are going to take several hits to get rid of. Anyways, remember that ring that the uh, little birdie told us about? And if you throw a rock or item in there, preferably this skull, you get this little fella, and he gives you a new item. And it's one of our three medallions, the Quake Medallion. And the Quake Medallion is fantastic. I love it. In fact, all of the medallions are really useful, but we'll use them more later. Anyways, it's time to get at least one item out of the uh, Dark Palace, if you want to call it that pretty easy basically you can kind of follow these arrows and uh, you get these uh, little maze section here and there's a couple of dead ends but uh, see there's a dead end here but don't worry about it too much really I'm recording this at like three o'clock in the morning because I can't get to sleep so <laughs> if I run out of things to say well that's just it but anyways if you go through here you'll notice that a monkey starts to follow you and uh, like I think I said in the last episode you do need a certain amount of rupees or if I didn't say it well you need at least 110 rupees in order to complete this quest and you might as well stock up on rupees now now that is kind of uh, one of the dangers in getting the flippers early because you may not uh, you may run out of rupees actually you know before you get to this point but the one good thing about the link to the past is that well Rupees are in an abundance there, so... Yeah, we can't open it ourselves. The monkey's just gonna run away if we do that, and, uh... We'll get a little screwed, and we'll have to go find him again, so... Anyways, it's time for this palace. And this palace is kind of interesting. Um, you'll notice that uh, there's kind of this little toggle switch here. And you're really kind of forced to go either left or right. And uh, you'll see in the middle there that that room is locked. So you uh, are forced to at least look around a little bit. And I like how the game is kind of introducing us to more difficult dungeons at this point. Um, some of the dungeons are a lot more difficult than this, um, especially as the at the later part of the game, if you know what I mean. Uh, a lot more tedious. But this one isn't too bad, and it's got a few tricks up its sleeve that, um, you know, it, it kind of... Um, shows us what to look for in later dungeons, if you know what I mean. Such as, you know, bombable floors and things like that. 
And also other mechanics of future dungeons, you know. That's one thing I like about the, um, about the Link to the Past is that the learning curve is not very steep at all. Not compared to the Adventure of Link, of course. Now here, I've got to watch out for these anti-fairies. But I'm not worried about them. Thankfully, they don't have, uh, they don't take away experience, you know, like the Adventure of Link. But let's go up. Now, really, you could just use the magic mirror to go back to the entrance, so I'm going to use that quite a bit in the next few dungeons. And there may be some creative editing, too, if you know what I mean. We're not exactly going to uh, finish this dungeon today, if you know what I mean. Basically, we're going on an item quest in order to get, well, the golden sword as early as possible. And you'll also notice those little turtle guys there. We can't really kill them just yet, so don't worry about them. Now up here, you get a key. And you could go forward and investigate the dungeon a little bit more, but we're not going to do that just yet. Because over here, it's kind of giving you a clue. You know, check this out. Fall down here. And if you do, you'll see that little uh, column there. You know, like we just pushed it down. And you get this, so, yeah. At least you get a key out of it, you know. By the way, I was just using the magic mirror there, you know. So if that threw you off, sorry about that. My dog is really restless. That's because it's like that's uh, stormy outside, and whenever it's stormy outside, she gets a little restless here. But that's okay. Anyways, down here we've got this little floor that we can bomb. Like I mentioned earlier, you know they've got these little areas like that in some of the dungeons. So we'll see that again. But now that we have the key, we can go up the stairs. In here. In a nice central location, we get the big key, which is fantastic. And I like that we get the key a little early, too. Now, I don't know why I jumped down there. You really could just kind of, you know, do that. Now, the goal in this uh, episode is to get the magic hammer, but I'm going to show you some other parts of the dungeon, too. I mean, we can either do it now or later, and I might as well make the episode a little longer, you know. And plus, it gives me a good stopping point at a good time, because that means the video is going to be about 12 or 13 minutes long, instead of, uh, like, 6 minutes or something. So. so it works out. We're not going to be able to get that heart, but that's okay. Now here we have an interesting switch where um, we have a little puzzle here. We have to push this little statue. And I like that the puzzles in this dungeon are really not that difficult, you know. Well, not yet, anyway. Now we have these enemies. Uh, normally what I used to do was just try to arrow them like this. Now what you also can do is um, hold your sword out and do the spin attack and just back up into them. And that also works. Or you could do this. You know, whichever way. Now the red ones, they can shoot a beam at you. And, you know, that can hurt, but it's avoidable, really. Even though I think it comes at you pretty fast, but whatever. Ah, we just avoided that. And of course we have a little puzzle here. It's pretty obvious, you know, what to do there. I don't like how that sort of puzzle's brought back in other uh, Zelda games in the future as well. 
Anyways, if we go down here, we'll come across this little conundrum, and um, we don't exactly have the item to take care of this just yet, so we've got to go back to the beginning. We'll take care of that in the future. Anyways, if we go back here and jump up here, ignore the cut there. I was just taking care of those little enemies. You don't have to do that, but I was just taking out my vengeance on them. Here, you definitely want to use the Pegasus Boots to get across this bridge because, yeah, you don't have a whole hell of a lot of time and those enemies are in the way. And again, we have these enemies, these turtles, that we can't do anything with, but, oh well. Like I said, in this game, the rupees are coming at you, you know, left and right, so... Unless you max out everything, which I'm still debating about, you know, you're not going to run out of rupees anytime soon. I mean, a lot of the dungeons have these sort of rupee rooms, you know? And I like how the dungeon has this little off section, you know? Kind of shows us what's to come. And it would help if I had the lantern out here. But uh, we'll get to that middle section later. Now, if only we had an item to get rid of those little turtles. Well, soon enough. Soon enough, viewers. Now we have this little maze of a room. And this is kind of similar to that room in um, the castle. But what you can do to get rid of some of these enemies is just freeze them. And that's pretty nice. I mean, we're technically... Well, I mean, you can get either this early, but... Um, yeah. I don't think you're expected to use either magic that early. And when they freeze like that, it's easy to spot them. You know, even in the dark, so... That's pretty nice. Bombs are good. You know, I complain about new games giving you tutorials at every, you know, five second interval. But, you know, even this, you know, said, you know, press A to place bombs every time you get bombs or something. But, um, I don't think it was as annoying as uh, tutorials in new games. But anyways, here we get the magic hammer. And this is the first item on our golden sword quest. And we're not going to be taking care of this dungeon just yet. No siree. We're, we're actually going to do is get out of this dungeon, but not before I get this extra key. Might as well get it now rather than later. And um, we'll zap our way out of here in a moment. And so what item will we get next? Well, find out in the next episode on Let's Play Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.